In this video, I'm going to show how you would set up the creator frame fixture on five variables so that it would fit this particular frame using outputs from the software BikeCAD. Let's get into it. So this is the creator frame fixture that we manufacture and ship from this shop globally. And it was designed to be easy to adjust and easy to set up. And right now I want to set it up to fit this frame. This is something I built this year. And uh, basically we've finished the design on the computer. You know, we're thinking while we design about the rider and the kind of parts that they want to put on the bike. And now that we know what bike we want to make, we need to get the outputs from our design software that will help us set up the fixture. You could use bike CAD, you could use 2D CAD, you could do it on paper. There's a lot of ways that you could pull out these numbers. I think bike CAD is the most straightforward and easy for most people. And let's not confuse these outputs with things like reach, stack, bottom bracket drop, effective top tube. Those are a little bit more like frame-centric design variables, things that frame builders and, and bike riders know. And this has its own, setup, uh, its own set of setup variables, which are different, but really pretty simple to derive. And so we have a sheet here, and on the sheet, there's five variables. So the first one I'm gonna set is the head tube X variable, that's 544. So I loosen these two handles, and I just slide this to 544, and that one is set. Next one, 259 millimeters for the head tube Y adjustment. 259. If I get straight on, I can see really clearly right where I'm at. There's actually a lot of sensitivity to reading this, and these pointers are actually adjustable, so you could calibrate it in the field if you really wanted to, although we ship them pretty well calibrated as they are. The seat tube, head tube angle difference is positive four and a half degrees. So I'm just gonna move this to where the pointer reads positive four and a half degrees. Bam. The dummy axle X position is 373 millimeters. We put a lot of care into making this thing easy to adjust, to make the parts easy to slide. And finally for the dummy axle or the rear axle Y position, that's 233 millimeters. And I read that from the back side here. This is a little adjustable stop. That kind of helps you when you take the frame in and out of the fixture or when you're doing batch work. And I just lift this up to 230 three millimeters, and there, we've done it. Already, we have the bottom bracket, the lower head tube support, and the dummy axle in position to support the frame. Everything else on the fixture essentially slides into where it fits. These parts slide into fitting the seat stays and the chain stays. This slides into the top of the seat tube, into the top of the head tube. These ones are sort of uh, gonna find their center based on the tubes that you put in there. But in order to load the fixture correctly, you do need to set this point, this point, and this point to each other. And we've just done that. So, wow, we'll make some, uh, some more content about producing the drawing from which you would set up the fixture. So we took a second to load it into the fixture so that you can see how all of these accessories play into the, the frame. These ones are just kind of driven by the planes established by the seat stays and the chain stays. You just bring these up to fit and they help hold things in position for you uh, so that you can manage to build the bike without having nine God-given pairs of hands. So really to set up the fixture, all you need is the correct head tube adapter, bottom bracket adapter, and those five coordinates, and you should be off and running. And if you have a bend in your seat tube, then you would set this forward offset as well.